Hey friends, Ash here with Gin Sense. Hope you're doing really well. It's been a while since I've done a This Week in Fragrance video. Feels like maybe a month or so. We had a whole rush of new releases that were announced and it was like everybody was coming out with new fragrances and then nothing. But finally, we have some new things to talk about. I've got a new fragrance release from Ralph Lauren, a new fragrance release from Issey Miyake, from Tower Perfumes, and also uh, Diesel. Yeah. Along with a Michael Kors fragrance that might actually be worth checking out. So let's go ahead and jump into this and go over some upcoming releases in This Week in Fragrance. Today's video is brought to you by FragranceUSA.com. I've got a link in the description. Make sure to check them out if you're in the market for a new niche or designer fragrance. You can use the code GENT15, GENT15, no S, GENT15, to save 15% off your order of anything on the website. So thanks to Fragrance USA for sponsoring this video. Check them out in the description, FragranceUSA.com. Let's jump into the video. And let's kick things off with a new Polo fragrance from Ralph Lauren. Now they just came out with Polo Cologne Intense. Now they're coming out with Polo Sport Fresh. I almost said fresh. Polo Sport Fresh. Now this is a really interesting one for them to come out with. The original Polo Sport came out in 1994. Then they had Polo Extreme Sport, which came out in 98. And now they have Polo Sport Fresh coming out in 2021. Bit of a gap. It's almost like they were sitting there thinking, you know, we need some more Polo Flankers. But we just did Cologne Intense. Oh, what about Polo Sport? Yeah, that was a thing. I mean, you can still find it. I'm just saying it was, it's old. It came out a while ago. Note breakdown here is Mandarin Orange, Iris, Mint, Sage, Marine Notes, and Woods. That's the whole note breakdown. Now, in today's day and age, that's not out of the ordinary. You have fragrances that come out now with three notes but it is quite different than the original that came out in 94. You can go check that one out if you want. There are a bunch of notes there. So they definitely pared that down and simplified it for today's market, basically. The main things to notice in this new breakdown is iris and sage. I would say, most importantly, the iris. Looking at that note breakdown, I would assume it's gonna have some sort of ambroxany, modern wood feel going on with the marine notes and the woods in here. The iris could provide sort of a soapy feel as well. And then looking at the mint sage and the mandarin orange, I would think that it's going to open up green and fresh. Imagine that, Polo Sport Fresh opens fresh. <laughs> That's weird. So there we go, Polo Sport Fresh coming out sometime soon. Let's move on to the new diesel fragrance, Sound of the Brave. Diesel fragrances are not known for being the most unique fragrances on earth, but let's go ahead and check this one out. Maybe it'll be really solid. Sound of the Brave is the newest Only the Brave by Diesel that invites you to share your sound. Grabbing the lead mic is the newest Diesel ambassador, Skepta, the hip hop legend who embodies the traits of a true brave man, courage, determination, and self-confidence. In case you're unaware of who that is, he's a uh, UK hip hop artist. Together, the Brave family and Skepta join forces to create an iconic music powerhouse. Join Skepta as a voice of your generation with Sound of the Brave by Diesel, a vibrant freestyle fougere. Okay. <laughs> Sound of the Brave is composed like a winning hip hop track. The fragrance opens with a strong vibration of spices with the heart of bison grass added to the mix. A sensual base of ambery wood and musk brings the winning bass line to this powerful composition. Enclosed in the iconic clenched fist bottle, lyrical vibrations energize the juice to an electric blue. Now, it, it could just be me, but the write up kind of makes me cringe. This reads almost like uh, Steve Buscemi in that meme where he's like, hello fellow kids with the two skateboards. Ugh. So basically what happened is Diesel went to Skepta and they were like, can we use you for this and we'll give you money? And he was like, yes. And then they wrote this up, a vibrant freestyle fougere. It's composed like a winning hip hop track. What? You imagine that? Somebody coming up to you? Hello, this fragrance is composed like a winning hip hop track. Do you want it? It's a freestyle fougere. Lyrical vibrations energize the juice. 
How does that? <laughs> Lyrical vibrations. This one has top notes of juniper and lemon, a heart of sweet grass or bison grass, and a base of amberwood and musk. Now, if you're like me, you see bison grass and you're like, yeah, I have no clue what that is. So I looked it up. Bison grass apparently has coumarin in it, and I'm imagining that it's just Tonka. But they were like, hey, if we put bison grass, that'll sound way cooler. That's just my guess. Or maybe they did go out and harvest up some bison grass and put it in here. So there we go, Diesel Sound of the Brave. We'll see how it is, maybe it's good. Next up, let's talk about the new Michael Kors. It's called Extreme Journey. And you've gotta love that Michael Kors is extreme everything. Every flanker that they have, extreme speed, extreme rush, extreme sky, extreme journey, nothing is standard for them. For the trailblazer who charts his own path, introducing Michael Kors Extreme Journey, a woody spicy mint fragrance radiating with the thrill of adventure, capturing the rugged intensity of racing through Saharan sands. It's a powerful blend that drives you deep into the dunes where peppery aromatics, desert woods, and notes of worn leather run wild. Warm and raw, it's an eau de toilette to heat up any occasion, if you know what I mean. They really should have put that at the end, if you know what I mean. They should have. This one has a top of juniper, pink pepper, cypress, grapefruit, and geranium, a mid of desert woods and papyrus, and a base of leather myrrh and oak moss. Now these Michael Kors Extreme Flankers don't typically get talked about all that much, but there are some hidden gems in there. It's actually a line that does have some solid fragrances here or there. And looking at this note breakdown and the write-up for it, this one sounds like it could be good. So this is one I will pick up for sure. And I'm gonna have high hopes. I'm gonna go into it a little cautiously, but with high hopes, I think it could be solid. This could be one of those hidden gem type scents. Or it could be a dumpster fire with just sewer water put on top. But I don't think that's what it'll be. I think it'll be good. Next up, the new tower. This one is called Cologne du Maghreb. And I think that the bottle looks slick. This is one I want a lot, a whole lot. Now this has a serious note breakdown. And I appreciate that, especially like I said before, with all these fragrances coming out with three notes. Stop that. This one though, all the notes. Let me go ahead and read these off for you. It's got a top of red mandarin orange, clementine, pettigrain, rosemary, clary sage, litia cubiba, grapefruit, bergamot, lemon, and lavender. It's got a mid of neroli, orange blossom absolute, bourbon geranium, Moroccan rose absolute, and Bulgarian rose. And then the base, very simple, atlas cedar, javanese vetiver, labdanum, and ambrinol. That no breakdown sounds awesome. Bunch of citrus, you've got some herbal aromatic notes in there, you've got florals, you've got uh, woods, you've got this nice sort of resinous feel in the base as well from what I can see here. I'm here for this. So I wanted to bring that one up. I know that it appeals to a, a smaller crowd out there, but that, out of all these fragrances, the one I want the most. Up next, the new Isimiyake Fusion DC Extreme. You gotta have the extreme in there, come on. Extreme, intense, absolute, absolute. You always kick it up a notch. The original, lame. A new intensity born in the heart of nature in fusion. This new fragrance for men, Fusion DC Extreme, takes us to the discovery of an unexpected nature that has its source in the heart of the deepest waters where the contrast between strength and freshness are taken to the extreme. Does that make sense? Discovery of nature, heart of deepest water, contrast between strength and freshness taken to the extreme. I don't think that makes sense. So let's see what we've realized here. We have gone on a discovery of an unexpected nature. Its source is in the heart of the deepest waters where there is a contrast taken to the extreme between strength and freshness. Let's not think about that anymore. Natalie Lorson composed Fusion DC Extreme, coloring the solar fern with a new spicy and fresh facet. At the heart of this new inspiration, the play of contrasts between the intense freshness of deep currents and the heat of magma is taken to the extreme. For the fresh facet of the fragrance, the spicy notes of cardamom accompany the zesty aromas of bergamot. Between strength and balance, the aroma of peppermint mingles with the verticality of the mineral, solar, and deep accord 
signature of Fusion DC. So you get the idea here. There are intense contrasts between the extreme freshness of the currents and magma. Lava. They are pitching this as a new volcanic perfume. In the top, it has cardamom and bergamot. In the mid, peppermint, coconut, and lavender. In the base, sandalwood and patchouli. Uh, there are fewer notes here than in the original. And one thing I noticed right away is the lack of fig, which was one of the main notes in the original. And they've added in peppermint and lavender here. Now I'm absolutely gonna buy this. Isi Miyake has some fantastic fragrances. A lot of the times, their cool weather fragrances seem to be a little bit better, in my opinion quality just seems a little higher but on the whole it's a great house a lot of times the price you can pick these up for is nice so there's the new fusion dc extreme interesting write-up I, I get what they're going for but at the same time i don't know that i've ever thought about the extreme depths of the ocean and been like hey man i bet it's refreshing down there am i right like no you'd be dead if you were down there you would die whoa my shirt just changed. Actually, this is me from the future. A new fragrance was announced after I had already shot This Week in Fragrance, and I wanted to go ahead and do a quick update and put that in the video for you guys. The new fragrance is Yop Ohm Eau de Parfum, a new Yop flanker. Yeah. Yop Ohm crosses the limits of olfactive addiction with a new Eau de Parfum. Dark and resolutely mysterious, the fragrance reveals a sophisticated contrast. The spicy freshness of cardamom is warmed up by a voluptuous blend of roasted hazelnut, vanilla, and tonka bean. A sensual overdose of elegance for a man with undeniable charisma. So this one's got a top of bergamot, cinnamon, and hazelnut, a mid of orange blossom, heliotrope, cardamom, and pine needle, and a base of tonka bean, vanilla, sandalwood, moss, cashmere, and vetiver. Hmm, interesting. So we've got heliotrope in here from the original Yope. That's the first thing that jumps out at me. But then also hazelnut, pine needle, cashmere, moss, tonka, vetiver, vanilla, all of this together could be something really cool. The original Yope is not a favorite of mine. I don't really like it. Super syrupy in a cough syrup kind of way it doesn't really work with me. I know that for a lot of people out there, that one is a classic that they wore over and over and over and got great compliments with and they love it. But for me, nah, nah thanks. I'll tell you guys though, the more that I've dived into this house, the more I've been impressed, especially when you consider the price you can pick a lot of these up for at discounters. So this one I will absolutely pick up and I'm cautiously optimistic that with that note breakdown, it's going to be a sick release. Although I do have to say, every time I see something like hazelnut or chestnut nowadays, I automatically think, I wonder if they're trying to knock off stronger with you. With all the other notes in there, probably not, but that is one thing that pops into my head. All right, back to me in the past. See you later. So there we go, guys. A new This Week in Fragrance. Again, shout out to Fragrance USA. Check them out below. Use the code GENT15 anytime you shop there. Save yourself some money. That's going to do it for me. Let me know in the comments below which of these new releases you're looking forward to the most. As always, thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for all your support. Stay safe out there, and I will see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys.